Hi everyone, I'm Mon and recently I was trying to set up Entity Framework Core in a separate class library project. After spending a few hours trying to figure out how to do this and having looked at what's available on the internet, I thought I'll create this project for anyone looking to do the same so that they can benefit of this approach. I have two projects. One is for the web API .NET Core and it's the second is a data class library project. I'm using Entity Framework Core 2.1.4 and the DB contest is being created using the design time factory. These are the pretty basic .NET commands. It's just creating the boilerplate for API project and the class library project. And one thing I had to change was to change the target framework to target.NET Core. And then as we'll be using the micro, um, repository and the DB context from the data project, I've added a reference to the web API project. We'll be requiring a few NuGet packages. I'm using SQLite for this demo, but you might be looking at SQL Server or something for a production database. And the design time DB context is from this design package. These optional dependencies are in case you want to share the app settings JSON from the web API project with the data class library project. As I said, we have two projects. API is the web API project and data is the data class library project. The DB context is just similar to what you do normally and I have created a user model just for this demo. It just has two properties, ID and a name. The DB context factory is the tricky or was the trickiest part, trying to figure out how do I create the DB context. So I got good help from this link, which I've found only after digging a while. So this is uh, this depends on your use case. In my case, I wanted to share the configuration from the web API project inside the data project. So I created a separate config manager class and that config manager class is just getting hold of the configuration from the API project. After you have your config manager or the string hard coded as you can see in this link you should be able to run your migrations in the data project just for this demo I can show you that the DB context is actually looking at the correct database so as you can see this is the same database that's available in the app settings station. For a production environment, you might want to secure this using a key vault, but not check in the confidential connection strings in the code base. So once I had the DB context factory, I was able to run my migrations without any issues. And then I just have a test controller just to test that everything is working fine. And it's just retrieving all the users and I already have the project running so that is it thanks for watching bye